Hey, what's going on? This is Andre from OnlySanders.net. Pay attention to history because it can repeat itself. And if you were having a strong purpose on what you want to do, uh, this is where uh, history, and I know I've been kind of critical, or and I have been critical as far as, you know, uh, traditional school system, but there is a place for knowing history. A uh, perfect example as far as if you want to know, like, how nations form, how governments are formed, maybe how even different jobs are formed. You know, pay attention uh, to the past because once you start researching that uh, information you can uh, see that really not that many things have changed even in today's uh, 21st century. A uh, good example when I go through uh, personal development books and uh, really uh, listen and just read uh, people of success from like decades ago would it be Napoleon Hill, Wallace Waddles, you know uh, even Robert Kiyosaki's rich dad uh, the thing is, a lot of the information they have said it really has not changed. Uh, a good example, again, is uh, when you think about the Depression. And uh, if I'm not mistaken, uh, when it got started in 1929 and throughout the 1930s, 1940s, uh, when I first got into business, I found out it took 25 years until we got out of the Depression. Now, so right now, we're in the uh, recession. Some people would be quick to say, oh, the recession's over. No, it's not. Because, uh, again, different trends and what I've studied, uh, really when uh, the stock market pretty much continues to rise, it's going to fall. You know, I, I noticed this too also too, with uh, studying people that are in real estate. Those trends happen with that as well. So that's why it's pretty good to just know as far as paying attention to trends and just so you can adjust. The sad thing is people, most people don't choose to pay attention to history is they become a slave to like, this is the mentality as far as uh, what society throws at them, uh, what governments throw at them, what jobs throw at them. And it's just really unfortunate because once you pay attention, again, like I just mentioned, to those people of success, you see that really not that many things have changed as far as this the mentality of people. Uh, Earl Nightingale mentioned that in The Stranger's Secret. Again, I mentioned Napoleon Hill mentioned it in several of his books as well. So that's why it's just pretty much good just to just pay attention to what happened in the past just so we can just be better prepared. Uh, we won't fall into the ignorance uh, of most people. And again, we'll just be able to, like I said, just make adjustments and just uh, continue to just go after our purpose, whatever that is. So something this one I have to leave you with because it is, it does have a place as far as, you know, knowing your history in whatever topic, subject, again, whatever you're trying to accomplish. So if you got gotten value for what we shared here, I'd love to read your comments below. I'd like to say this video. That being said, I will see you in the next video.